So, some more remarks about this uh, definition. So, we have three uh, equivalent ways to say that F is T. And the third uh, definition, this the last definition here, is closely related to a very well known theory by. Uh, in fact, uh, some results from Rosenthal's, uh, excuse me, from Dalagrand's book. And uh, it, uh, the distal formulation is not uh, linear, but up known results by Dalagrand, we can do it as the first remark. The second remark about uh, your question, Mark. Uh, I realize that uh, actually this, this, uh, the answer is short. It's not uh, complicated, I just mix it with some, uh, another question. And the answer is uh, up to uh, helicopter. If you consider what is helicopter, the all possible functions of unit interval into unit interval, which are uh, not strictly, not necessarily strictly, not necessarily strictly increasing. It is uh, very well known that uh, this K in uh, point wise topology, product topology, is uh, consists by maps, which each of these maps are bare one. So, if you consider now the pointwise closure, any element will be here. So, any, any element will be another, another way to see it, you know that any monotonic function from 0, 1 into R, you know, is bare one. So, it's a short answer. This way, we see that any function with the closure is bare one. Bare one. So you can apply the third definition in order to conclude that uh, from this remark, h plus zero one is a by you know by the equivalence is eventually fragment because we have three definitions is eventually. Thank you for your question. Uh, I'm interested in some another question why corresponding dynamical system can be representable or, or not, and the corresponding group can be representable or not. But we will speak about this later. Now about semi group compactification because we have an, it's, uh, two new definitions, and maybe first of all, uh, it is easy to compare these two definitions. By definition, it is uh, uh, very easy to understand that this definition is much stronger. So, as x is a subset of subset here, and uh, even we can uh, draw the relationship between these definitions, last definitions, and here, some kind of hierarchy. Maybe I can write it here. So, by definition, R you see X is a larger class. Then, in our list, is a tail X. Then, have Asmodel functions. We have uh, here equal disparity functions. And here are all disparity functions. Correspondingly, we have, uh, in fact, we have in, at any place we have some good algebra, unit uh, sub algebra of C of X, and we consider corresponding compactification, different spaces. So, here we have G, I, C, X, and so on. 
Oh, so in particular case, okay, so G is X acting on itself on the left, left. In particular case, we can draw this diagram. For, for example, is this. Take all aspect functions on our G, treating it as a G space by left action. And we have a, a chain of uh, G uh, factors. They're almost periodic, as I already mentioned, it's just bore compartification of G. Uh, what is GRUC? GRUC For G is equal to X, we have this diagram. Uh, we can uh, denote it, it is natural to note it by beta GG. Why? But why? What is beta GG? It's a maximal G compactification of G. It is G analog of a, a usual Chekhovstone uh, compactification. When G is discrete, this is exactly beta of G. Okay? So it's the uh, it's analog uh, in, the, uh, the, uh, in other terms, it's the greatest orbit greatest orbit of G is just the maximal <coughs> G compactification. I already mentioned if, if G is discrete, then beta G, G can be identified as usual with beta of G. Okay, now about uh, semi non compactification, all these objects here on this line are semi groups. Uh, what kind? Compact, right, topological, admissible. Why admissible? Because the image of G, if you consider here, the image of G, by the way, here always we have embedding. Why? Because right uniformly continuous on any topological group separate points and Closed substance is very well known. So we have all this here embedding. And this image here is dense, and of course, the corresponding image in any guy here is going to be dense. This guarantees the uh, admissibility. So, well, so the corresponding left translations by element G will be continuous. What more? We, uh, we need more. So, in order to understand the, the list of definitions I already gave, uh, what is what? So this is a topological group. This is a semi topology. I can uh, write it here. The topological group. Here we can say topological semi group. Kind of, you know, some kind of higher semi topological semi group. Again, we have all the definitions. And now, these two objects just reflect our needs. We uh, defined some new class of uh, functions. And uh, we wanted to give some examples, very good examples. That G, as good as the Gelfand the space of the aspect functions of G is uh, what I uh, do uh, here with the detail, but here HNS. HNS. What is HNS? Hereditary non sensitive. We have very good reasons why it's hereditary non sensitive because uh, 
the corresponding action G on this guy will be had a little little sensitive sounds and uh, no sensitivity I tried to explain but we will explain it in full details later and uh, at this moment what we can say is that it requires our definition of H and S and G tail is just tail uh, seven. The tail seven. Okay. Now about uh, some other uh, properties of uh, semi compactification. semi compactification is a very uh, beautiful theory. Uh, for example, you can uh, see in our website uh, <coughs> very nice work by Spensky, it's very useful. <coughs> and uh, many, many, uh, most comprehensive maybe book about this uh, concept is a book by Bergman, Duke, and Milnes. And uh, what is the general definition of semi topological uh, group of activations? We al already started to deal with uh, semi group of activations. The idea is very simple. In general, we have no chance, or almost no chance, to get uh, in our compactification of a group because you know it's. So just the situation that our G is pre -com. But in many, many cases, we have good, nice uh, samples. And the uh, general definition goes this way. So we have some semi topological semigroup, say, when some group in uh, most applications for me, the object of interest. A right topological semigroup compactification is a field, it's just a compactification such that the target objects will be compact, right topological semigroup, and the gamma uh, will be continuous semigroup homomorphism, of course, with this uh, image, such that the corresponding left translations by elements of original S uh, will be continuous. So oh, the associated action will be separately continuous, but uh, sometimes we have also, as we already mentioned, <coughs> so joint continuity. For example, you remember, if our S is a group, good group, like a Polish group, then uh, the corresponding object will be joint, corresponding action will be jointly continuous. And as for examples, in fact, we have the same diagram here. All these objects are particular cases of semi-group compactification. The maximal directly continuous G compactification. I want to mention the analog of usual checkstone compactification. A universal semi-topological compactification, algebra for literal sporadic functions. <coughs> we are going to speak more about it. The main part will be tomorrow. And, uh, Universal topological uh, compact group compactification, or in other terminology, more, more compactification. So we have the same chain here. Uh, by the way, we have a very large room between uh, uh, right uniformly continuous and weakly almost periodic because it turns out that this, uh, uh, this continuous automat is a homeomorphism if and only if G is pre -cold. So it was a very large room, so it was very natural to try some insert something. So these two definitions, in, in a sense, uh, gives us uh, this possibility and uh, gives us some good classes uh, for uh, further uh, investigation. Now, uh, enveloping semigroup. Enveloping semigroup we already mentioned, and there is a classical definition by Ellis. Again, let's repeat. We have some dynamical system, and we consider 
all left translations of all, all translations by our elements and go to the corresponding closure of the game. In this case, uh, we restrict ourselves by compact dynamical systems in order to get something compact. So we have some uh, the compact S system. So we can consider JS all possible translations by elements of S according to our action. So of course it is a part of it is still xx, but we need to look it as a part of all possible maps from x into x. Here we have a compact in point-wise topology. So it will be compact in point-wise topology and with respect to usual composition, it will be always right topological, compact right topological semi group. And uh, now we can consider the closure, point wise closure of the image here. And this object is just a reset. Sometimes we write it this way or in a short way on e x or maybe even is e, when everything is understood. Let's go to some uh, computation. Uh, the, the following exercise here, eight. It is not. Uh, uh, I should mention that. There are very few uh, cases that we can compute enveloping semigroup in full details. Uh, sometimes we can evaluate something, estimate how large is this class. But I will give some only some uh, particular cases. And of course, uh, there are many other examples, but in general, the computation of enveloping semigroup is uh, quite difficult and very rarely we can, we can give it a constructive. But this situation is easy and we already mentioned it, it we need it as some distinguishing example. I mean, if you, if you remember, a very easy dynamical system when we consider function x goes to x, x squared. So, but uh, again, what we have here, some kind of exercise, let's uh, compute it. Uh, consider the two point compactification of the, okay? I mean, of course, uh, if you consider some copy of Z in this way, can join here two points. Um, yes. Say minus infinity. Infinity. Consider here a S B this one and the 
define a extension of our uh, operation. We say plus, but uh, it will not be commutative. So we define a plus t and t plus a plus t is equal to t for every n of that and for every s and t for two kinds of infinity. So in this way we consider we have some uh, uh, semi group which is not commutative. Why? This image is the commutative because you know if you take uh, for example take this one you get minus infinity and take uh, bt you have infinity so it's a, of course it is not commuted now we need to understand uh, what happens with uh, how what, how it is related to an you know, extended group of uh, dynamical systems I already mentioned so let, let me recall that If we have this map, so our x is unit interval, and we have some function, not some function, but very concrete function, the sigma, and x. Yeah. And now, uh, of course, uh, very easy to understand what happens here because by iterating, it's a homeomorphism. And we have a acting group with Z or a copy of Z. And uh, if we can give a picture, so this is a big positive K. We have something like this, and this one is more and more and more. In positive direction. Okay. So what happens uh, when you take some, uh, uh, say, sigma k case iteration? First, k is uh, goes to infinity. Okay? okay. In this way, we consider this uh, function and the point wise. Uh, convert, it, uh, we have quantized convergence to, of course, uh, this function will be our target function, something like this. So, uh, you immediately recognize that it is a characteristic function of a uh, Unity and uh, this direction, if you consider now negative part, so we have again one, one, something like this, and more and more. So when sigma k negative k goes to minus infinity and we have the following picture here and here last point this uh, function is you can write this way okay it doesn't matter but this is so what we have here is that the 
enveloping semigroup in our situation the fact will be uh, looks like this example I can denote it by minus infinity this value by infinity so we have here again under the identification of elements sigma k and k okay, here not include but isomorphic to that infinity and of course we see that the, these special elements are not uh, continuous, but they are, the good news are that they bear one functions. Very, very special, very simple, but uh, bear one functions. So, uh, what can be, what, what will be uh, our uh, conclusion about the nature of this dynamical system? I mean, uh, after our definition, it should be uh, it should be clear that this dynamical system is what? So, so what's, that's my question. So if you maybe somebody can answer this, because uh, we have one inedit answer, it is okay, but we have a deeper answer, which is the best. So we had some kind of a semigroups. We already defined semi-topological. Maybe I can show my question here. I prepared. So is it true that our E from this example is semi-topological H and S or T? So what's the answer? Semi-topological not. Why? Let's see. Excuse me, excuse me. Actually, I have some questions to the, the, the video before, before you were raised. So how did you, uh, how did you come up with this addition? Of, because I thought it would be no, commutable. This addition is not commuted. But, uh, yes, yes, but uh, I thought it would be commutable. Because you take the point wise... Uh, the composition. So, so you take composition of functions. Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's, so it is. So how do you? Uh, because you define the, this enveloping semigroup just as a set. Yeah, no. Enveloping semigroup was a uh, part, part of the, this guy. So I really indicate this composition. So any time enveloping semigroup is a sub semi group of this one. So, any time our composition is like our uh, 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 multiplication in our semi group, our composition. So, in the case of A, semi topological, what is the answer? Yes or no? Not. Why? If you take something goes to infinity, for example, take a, a minus k goes to minus infinity, and go, uh, consider left translation by infinity. Oh, lambda, yeah. is not continuous. Why? Because a minus k, a minus k goes to minus infinity, but if you take now infinity, infinity minus k will be, by our definition, 